What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister No One, your host. Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Origins. This time, uh, the Let's Play is going to continue in a live stream format, meaning that from now on, all of the Let's Play videos will be uh, pretty much done from the live stream. That way, we can separate the walkthrough and the live stream uh, and the Let's Play videos a little bit better instead of doing one after the other. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Where we left off in the Let's Play is we just finished the Fight Club, so we're going to be continuing off from that point. Make sure I... Four hours, 37 minutes. Make sure I got the right one that I'm loading up. Uh, definitely this one. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be heading to Alexandria. Um, this stream is going to last, or this video will last, roughly around two hours. And we're going to be getting into some mischief. I've been doing every side mission along the way because I want to do a 100% completion of all the missions, uh, side quests, main story quests, and all that stuff, to show you as, as much as I can. And again, this is the PlayStation 4 version, so if you only want to watch the walkthrough, you can do that as well. Those are on PC. I really like this outfit. This is the outfit that we got from the fighting pits. And I really like Bayek with the long hair and beard, so we're going to keep it uh, as long as we can, the beard at least. Alright. So here we are, as you can see, the mission that we have up right there is specifically... Um, the mission that's going to slowly start to bring us to... Alexandria, so I'm really, really excited to show you guys that. So let's not delay and let's get right into this. This is a side mission. The next main mission will be the one when we meet up uh, with uh, Aya. Strange to see bodies left out like this. The embalmer must know more. Now, just for this mission, I know what I'm doing only because uh, I wanted to show a gameplay for Alexandria, but after this, I won't know. It is a shame to see three dead left neglected. What happened? They were just brought here, Magi. A family struck down by the sword. Only the daughter, Ira, survived. She carried them here one by one. Poor girl. All by herself now. A tragic story. Tragic indeed. Where is she now? You can find her on the abandoned date farm near the road where her family died. This Ira sounds like a woman worth meeting. Alright, so we need to travel to her farm. <clears throat> Just so you guys can see where we are as far as uh, the map goes. It is kind of weird for me switching between PC uh, keyboard and mouse and controller, so I got to remember the controls again. Uh, but we're going to be, looks like, heading through here and then going over to Alexandria. So as you can see, we're really not that um, that far from Alexandria. So. Whoa. What's up, green team? How you doing, Mike? This is a pretty fun uh, stealthy mission. Kind of challenging though, uh, actually really, really challenging if you want to stealth it. Now, I since I said I already, because I wanted to make sure that I put that um, Alexandria video out, I did the walkthrough portion first, and I stealthed the entire mission, um, which was actually quite a challenge to stealth, because there's like five Soldiers. enemies in a small area. Not in this part, this part's pretty Let's easy. Low. But uh, after this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get uh, Sinew out here. Nothing! And remember, the, the more you upgrade Sinew, the more you'll be able to spot enemies from further away. Even through trees and things like that, so... I think there should be at least one more enemy that I haven't seen yet. No! No 
Fuck it. All right, well, we'll go with just the ones that we have. I will try to keep it as stealthy as I can, but... You know, this is live. You never know what's going to happen. Any clue? Nothing yet. Yeah, he's out there. There he is. Bam. Alright, so we're gonna get him one at a time. This guy's a little too far away. So far. I mean, not a good idea to get them when both of them are right there. Well, you're just making it easy for me. Find the girl. That's the same. To find her. That's the same voice as Cesare. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I just realized that. You could totally tell that that's Cesare. Do you see how he moved his head? But he didn't quite come over here and look. Any luck? Damn. Need to get you in the ground. Not so far. I think we're going to be successful on this Fair stealth enough. operation. Again, this is the Let's Play, so therefore this is the uh, PlayStation 4. Hey, what? Oh, not enough time. I didn't have enough time to run over there and get him. So sorry. I mean, it's, it's not like stealth really technically helps you out too much when you're trying to do this. She's in the well. I pray none of the soldiers heard that. Here we go. Hail in peace, Iras. All I want is to speak with you. The last man to say so. Murdered my family. I've come to help you, Iras. How do you come to know my name? A priest told me of you. Ah. My kin have owned this land for centuries, but left it barren until now. A soldier came to us, saying his master held a deed of sale. My father refused to concede the property. Then... Well, the rest is as you know it. What will you do? The farm is my birthright. I will work it as long as I can. So yes, we have I the ability to kill them. not harassed by soldiers. But we don't have if a hidden blade try, yet. The villa they spoke of lies northwest of here, on the road to Alexandria. So you heard the lady? We're heading to Alexandria. So yeah, if we you don't... Fail. If you want to take a look at our gear and where we are right now as you can see we do not have the hidden blade yet it is a main quest um unlock uh but what we do have is everything else so we can knock out we just can't uh, we don't have a blade to kill people uh when we're sneaking up behind them it's a takedown which means that they're still alive uh so it's like kind of a non-lethal ability we only got two points right now so we're gonna wait uh until we can level up a, a few more points before we continue to do that um, as soon as this, my family's legacy. as soon as this side mission is done, we're going to be heading into uh, meeting up with Anya in the main quest. So that's what I've been trying to do. Is that uh, in the beginning we really couldn't show too much off. There were certain things that we just couldn't show yet. But now that the game is out, uh, we're free to pretty much show whatever we want. Which means that. Um, you know, videos are going to be popping out left and right. So I'm going to have a schedule coming up here today 
uh, with all of the games that I've got going on, and I'm going to try to, to, just so you guys know, Assassin's Creed will be coming out every single day, but there will be some games that will be coming out like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday kind of thing. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure that it's set up the best way possible for everyone uh, to get the games that they want to see. So this is actually a really unique side mission, and the reason I say that is because there is many facets to this specific side mission. And I love how it just leads perfectly into Alexandria. Now, uh, when I did this before, I noticed that uh, the guards were in so different places. Like that guy, he was standing guard out here. So it's just depending on the time of day and what you're doing, these guys are, some of them are sleeping. Um, it's so, it's so, every time it's different, you're never gonna have the guards in the same place ever. And I just, I love that. I love it so much. Um, but it still shouldn't be too difficult from the looks of it. Whoa. But we'll still try to go in there as, as stealthy as we can. I must be careful now. I want to try this. Nice. Make sure there's nobody looking in case I miss someone. <laughs> A letter on fine papyrus. Okay. Sophronios. Yet another man made butcher for the sake of wealth. All right, so we got in there nice and easy, and we'll move on. What do you say we go ahead and grab this viewpoint since it's right here, it looks like? Somewhere. I love how he just destroys it instead of Whoa. instead of the horse jumping over it. <laughs> looks like we can't. Uh, let's see. Can we go this way? I've, out of all the people that have... Whoa, we're getting hunted by something. Out of all the people that have played and had the game for over a week now, which includes me too, I am probably the one that's the furthest behind with everything. And that is because I wanted to wait for all of you. Whereas everyone else probably had a bunch of videos ready uh, and probably have already finished the game. I wanted to experience and wait with you guys. So I wanted to experience the game with all of you. Uh, which, yes, does take a lot more time. But uh, I just think it's more enjoyable when we can talk about the same things and uh, all experience the stuff, you know, around the same same time. And I didn't want to go too far ahead or spoil anything. A lot of people spoiled things too early and, and broke embargoes and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just not a big fan of that stuff. I'm so blessed and honored to get the chance to play this game for you guys early. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I showed as much as I could in that beginning prologue. So, to give you, to whet your appetite a little bit, but then YouTube decided to demonetize every single one of my Let's Plays. And finally, I can finally say this, uh, finally they are no longer demonetized. But the damage, of course, is already done. Sorry, uh, making sure there's nothing particular there that I can pick up. All right. And it demonetized pretty much every Let's Play. It hasn't demonetized the walkthrough, I don't know, but it's demonetized the, the Let's Play. I don't know why or what makes it do that. Um, oh, there's something. But I finally got them. Uh, something's going on here. I feel like I should stay and look. I keep it in the wrong button. Something's going on with YouTube again and their policies. I don't see anything in here. That's kind of like a nice little shrine here. Just love the random things you come across. You can get so sidetracked. This is like an ADD person's uh, dream. Because <laughs> I love getting sidetracked. And this is a game that I get sidetracked a lot when I'm going from one place to another. But the cool thing about this is, like, literally, you can do... You can have, like, ten missions open at once. Whoa. And just 
kind of do them, you know, and then do the other one, and then finish one and finish the other one. I mean, it's really, really unique and cool how uh, all of the missions can be done just, uh, you know, at any time. I guess it's too deep for him to go across. Probably should have just went the bridge, I guess. He needs to run a little bit. He's a little out of shape, as you can see. Alright, so as you can see, we've got our main mission, Maybe which God is meet me. Aya. I am coming for you, Aya. And we have finally made it to Alexandria! Alright, so we're still on this mission, though. Let's get to where we need to go. It should be somewhere over in here. There he is. He is currently praying right now. Again, you can tackle these missions how you want to, right? You can do it at nighttime if you want to. You can do it during the daytime, and people will be different. They will not always be where they are. But we're at nighttime, so he's praying, and he's got a bunch of bodyguards around him. Now, one thing I do need to let you guys know is we need to somehow get down a little bit. Because I do remember that there is some guards on the bottom floor. Okay. All right. Let's try to get in there, and, and we'll try to remain as stealthy as we can. I did stealth this in the walkthrough, but it is quite a tough one to do. And it did take me a little bit of uh, maneuvering the enemies, like distracting them in certain ways. So it's definitely a challenge. A nice challenge, though. Let me just take a look at this. I, I do want to see uh, some of the uniforms that are in this area. See something you like. That's a pretty nice one. I think we do have a lot of things where well, we have pelts, but we don't necessarily want to... S we can sell the trinkets, though. Because you don't need these. These are things that you don't actually need. These are trinkets. And they don't do you any good when it comes to... So as you see, if you look on the down on the D-pad, you can sell unnecessarily unnecessary items. There we go. So we just gained up over 2,050, which now actually has enough to buy the Persian prince. I'll let you guys decide. Do you want me to pick up this outfit? Does this outfit look like something you guys want me to pick up? Let me know. I mean, it's not that it really matters or whatever, but we'll continue with this for now. Get out of the way! And notice how it's now starting to become daytime. Okay, so that caused quite a stir. So what I want to do is I want to try to separate them. And we're going to start that off by getting their attention up here. We're a little too far away, so it looks like we need to get down here. We're going to try to get some of their attention, see if they move around a little bit, try to separate them a little. I mean, or we could just go in there and uh, destroy. But as you can see, they're really, really close to this guy. And where they're standing is actually going to make it even hard as well. All right, let's get down. And again, you don't have to do it like this, but... I should not be seen in this area. All right, hopefully you can get maybe one of them to come over here. You know what? Why not? If he's setting himself up for that. A pitiful end to a pitiful existence. I will tell Liras of this if I see her again. 
There you go. Quest complete. But for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and. Again, you can do this whatever way you want. That way we can just figure out maybe what's in here and grab some stuff. As there's going to be some loot. Alright, there's a lot of things here. We got something here. It's outfits are always cosmetic only. What has an effect on your uh, armor and stuff? That is everything that is around the outfit, like your your gauntlets and things that uh, are not necessarily tied to your outfit specifically. That's pretty much what that means. Looks like we have three more over there. <laughs> All right, so why don't we uh, go ahead and, I guess, grab this um, viewpoint, and then we will head and do... Uh, ...the main main quest. And here we are in Alexandria. Just a massive city. <laughs> he just jumps over that thing. So sad to see the Serapion so quiet. <laughs> oh, there's a side mission there, looks like. But again, the great thing about this is you can do all of this. Oops, we can't get up this way. Looks like we're going to have to do it from the side. And if you remember, in the other video, we went and got that uh, for the PC version. This is the gold edition. Alright, so let's go ahead and set our marker for the main mission. Looks like we got a stronghold that's right there. Oh, I get so sidetracked, which is why we're going to do it. Not necessarily a stronghold, but a murder of some sort. I should look into this. 
Well, let me make sure. Let's see what the um. Oh, that's what it is. So this is really cool, and I'm so glad that this uh, um, this happened. So this is an actual player. Um, it's an event, a quest. He is falling in battle, and we can avenge him. So we can actually track and kill the guy who uh, killed him. Oi, These are the uh, the enemies that killed this guy. How cool is that? That we can actually track. And get rid of him? One more. Got him. So, I don't know what else it wants us to do here. Oh, we have to confirm. Oh, I'm going to die now. I'm going to die because I was helping these guys out. I <laughs> you have to confirm the kill. That is so ridiculous. Oh, come on, game. So, unfortunately, even though I already killed them with my blade... Um, and that only happened because there were just so many enemies around. So now somebody is going to be, is I will show up on someone's uh, game and it's going to say to confirm kill for me. So that's really, really fun and unique, I think. Stop! That is absolutely hilarious. All right, well, we'll continue on here. Um, ah, I can't believe that. That's just my luck, of course. All right, let's get back to the main mission. I, that's really cool, right? That's like really cool. Well, I think we're close enough. We don't need it. Can you get out of the animus at any time? Uh, let's see. I can actually show you the targets menu now. These are the targets that we've got going on. But we, we're not up to those missions yet. These are the two that we've taken out. Um, can we get out of the Animus? I do not see a thing that lets you get out of the Animus. Reload. Uh, yes, you can. Right there, Layla. Do you see it? So my guess is if I click this, there you go. You can get into the, uh, you can exit the Egypt world and go to the Animus. So, yes, you can. Serapis, the snake will get his answer. It's got to find a way inside here. Interesting ideas. How will I find Maybe I, I among all these endless scrolls? scrolls? I don't know. If no, Maybe no, if no, I just no. searched where it tells me to. Now what? Ah, where is Aya? Ah, Serapis. I wrote a tragic comic pastoral epic centered on him. Ah. You're by, I guess. Aya's eager to see you. Is she safe? Quickly, follow me. 
That I kind of irks me like, that I finished and beat those guys. But you I have to confirm sorry, the kill. I, I love that they do that, though. Drunk. Makes it more this challenging. This library is for serious scholars only. She is in hiding. Who are you? Ah, interested in Homeric verse, eh? This way, please. I am Aya's cousin, Phanos. Ah, yes, Phanos. Nice to meet you in person. Tell me what is happening with Aya. Are you being so discreet? Gennadio sent his men on a house-to-house -house search. Often they drag people into the street and torture them for information. Typical of the system we live under. Gennadios. A monster. The Philakitai of Alexandria. He is ravaging the city to find her. And where is she now? I have a very powerful friend, Apollodorus. No doubt you have heard of him. I have not. You will. In any case, he made a hiding place available to Aya after she ran into trouble. Yeah, but what happened? You do not answer me. It is a mess of political intrigue. She will explain all, fear not. Look! There's Vanos! He thinks he's a poet! <laughs> I the love the, the little canter. This is as far as I go. The way to Aya is found in the monument ahead. All right, explore the well. Right there. I realize that, but I'm just seeing it. Have a little faith. <laughs> All right. Uh, going down. Nice. <laughs> All right, so this is an exploration area. So let's explore. <clears throat> Got a blue thing up ahead, which usually are like diaries of sorts. Aya's notes. <laughs> hey, here we go. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Never again should we spend months apart. We only have each other. Without him, why? Let us be together. Us two. Each to each. I have news. Oh, because we're wearing a costume. <laughs> you are scarred by justice. Uh, Can't see it. I bludgeoned Bedunamun with this. I hate that we have to do these things. But I am grateful that you did. If I am honest, I took pleasure in it. I don't blame you. Oh, I've missed your touch. I have missed touching you. <laughs> I killed as well. Acton. I hunted him down and discovered a mask in his room. When he returned, I forced him to wear it. Then I thrust this knife through his eye slits. My kind of woman. <laughs> but I was careless. Another of the masked ones tracked me to my home. It was even more difficult. We have one more. Then we will be done. Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it on. Look at this. I took it from Acteon. Apollodorus tells me it is a papyrus from the Royal Council, which means the snake is in Ptolemy's court. How does this Apollodorus know these things? He has informants everywhere because of his work with Cleopatra. But Cleopatra? She's been declared a criminal. <laughs> By her treacherous brother, yes. 
She plans to take back the throne. She wants this snake dead as much as we do. And she trusts me. She gave me this to slit his throat. <laughs> <It's> Cleopatra <laughs> gave us blade that the killed the tyrant Xerxes. <laughs> A weapon of justice. <laughs> Ingenious. Ah. I will go to the palace and discover who uses the seal of the snake. And I will use this. Oh, I got a sneaky feeling because we know I've seen it where his, his finger is gone. Information in the royal scribe's office. He spends his time at the bathhouse. Go search the palace while he's away. And you? I cannot leave here as long as Gennadios walks the streets. He is determined to kill me. In addition to the snake, I will see what I can learn of this Gennadios and silence him. Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the... What's this? <laughs> that leads to the docks. I can't believe Thanos had you go through the pit. So... Discover who the snake is and show him the face of death. I'll meet you at the Paneo when you have killed both the snake and Gennadios. My heart aches until I see you again. As does mine, my love. So I'm thinking that when he goes for one of these kills with the assassination, that he loses his finger or something, right? Because his finger is going to have to be cut off because it gets cut off. So I'm just like kind of wondering when is that going to happen? Is he's going to try to kill one of these guys and he's going to forget to, to put his hand or something? That would be amazing if that happened. If they did that, I mean, that would right there alone would just make me, I mean, wow. It would just blow my freaking mind if that happened. All right, so let's, um, we got a warrior bow and our hunter bow. Let's see if you have anything better. That's the rapid fire, but. I'm not necessarily wanting a rapid fire bow right now. This one's better, and it's the. Oh, it's already equipped, that's right. And the Predator Bow. Long range precision. Definitely. Nice. Alright, that'll work. We don't get m m much to use it with, though. Uh, let's see. Nothing that's better. At least as of right now. And I'm sure eventually. And we'll switch to the Fang, because the Fang is what we have that we've been using that allows us to uh, damage enemies with poison. So you can see as far as... Oh, we got, may have a better shield, though. It's a 22... Nope. And if you know you're not going to... If you know you're not going to use these things, you can dismantle them. Let's see what happens when we dismantle this worm shield. Boom, we get bronze. Uh, let's take a look at our abilities. Uh, we got three points available to us. We had already unlocked the assassination, so we're good to go on that one. What's this one? Stealth kill streak. So successive assassinations grant you XP bonuses if you are not detected. That might be a good thing to have because we do utilize uh, stealth a lot. Hunter's Instinct Enhanced Warrior Bow, which allows you to charge your shot and it'll... Okay. Hunter bow, break shield defenses, enhanced light bow, enhanced predator bow. That's the one that you can control uh, in the air. Overpower, attack and push, the adrenaline. Salesman. Killing him is the tool, grants you more things. Flash decay. Eventually we're going to get that, but what I can see for now, I think the best one for us to get is this one. Okay, there's her, and there's that. Let's see if we can talk to her for a little bit and see what she has to say. Who is this snake? 
I have yet to discover that. The clue must be there in the palace. Search for the seal found upon the letter. It's too dangerous to leave this den as long as Gennadios and his men are searching for me. Alright, so let's look at our quests now. You can see that we've got two new main quests and two side quests up. We're not up to there yet. Uh, suggested level, we're at 11 right now. So we can go ahead and start doing this. Uh, try, uh, let's see. Assassinate Granados and the snake. So this is Granados. Suggested is 11, and that's what we are right now, so it makes sense to go ahead and do this one since we are at the correct level. And it'll be a challenge, but hopefully not too difficult. And we'll exit via here. Alright, so hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I wish I could stream this for a little longer, but I've got another stream coming up right after this for Star Citizen, so... Um, but there'll be, I'll be streaming this game every single day for you guys. Now, someone said something about, uh... If we press, we can... Let's see. Yes, you can. Look at that. His beard is back on. So you can toggle the beard on and off. And you can toggle the hair on and off. So thank you for actually letting me know that, because I would have... There's no way I would have known that. Well, let's keep the hair off, but we're going to keep the beard. Give him a, a, a unique look, I think. Clear the way! The Clear the way! <gasps> Now, I want to make note that in the Let's Play, I'm not really... I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of the side missions. In the walkthrough, I'm doing every mission, every main quest, and every side mission. But I'm not 100% sure if that is going to be the same case for the, the Let's Play. I mean, maybe. It just depends on if you guys want to see all of that in the Let's Play and walkthrough as well. So again, I'll always let you guys decide with that, but you will definitely see all of that in the walkthrough. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this viewpoint. He's technically not the first assassin, but I guess the way that they're building this is, he is the, the, the first to start this brotherhood, I guess, maybe? It's kind of hard, you know, there's obviously gonna be a little bit of retconning with a few things, so... <clears throat> so, on the PlayStation 4, if you want uh, the hair and beard back, um, beard is R R2 and triangle at the same time, and uh, hair is L2 and triangle at the same time. And on Xbox, it would be LT or RT in Triangle. Seems like that was pretty simple. And uh, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't get your name for the one who actually uh, uh, told me about it. I have no idea which way we can jump. That's what's great about this is you got to wait. You know that you're... There it is. Let's say you know you're going to be able to do it. You just don't know where it is. It's not RB. It's R2, which is the triggers. <laughs> So I just want to make sure, you know, people aren't getting the false information. Alright, so it looks like where we're going is going to be this big stronghold. Whoa. There's Granados. He's only a level 11, so these are pretty, pretty easy ones to do from the looks of it. 
Let's get in there a little bit and... There's an entrance down there. I do like that they make um, Sinu stay up high enough to where uh, you won't be detected by guards. I actually really, really like that. I don't like my animal to be detected by anything, if I can keep it that way. So he's defending. Looks like there's another guy there. It says there's a wandering guy there. That could not be enemies. Alright, so let's get back in. I'd say that's one of the drawbacks of the PS4 version is that there's... Even I'm playing on a PS4 Pro, is it takes a little bit of time loading-wise. Whoa! Mother load here. Uh, they will attack on sight here. Hold on, look at this. A boat was seen leaving the place last night through the canal. We protected this passage. There's a lot of loot here. I mean, look at this. We have hit the freaking mother load. I don't know if this is the safest place. Ooh, I like how he's down there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was super easy. Why have you dragged me into the land of the dead? You sought to kill my wife. Your whore of a wife is a murderess. Wafely and wanton one. I did my duty as a Philagetai. And for this, you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all law, Medjai? Be warned. The Philakis will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the Hidden One walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits. No, that's pretty cool. It's kind of like that Risperace and Pache thing. Lighting the Brazil! Let's say it. No help coming! We're dead! Just accept it! 
trying to, I'm trying to. Come on, lads. You know what? We don't have to go through all of this shit. How am I doing? <laughs> Jeez. It's like, I don't have to go through all of that. We did what we needed to do. We got a, a, a good opportunity there. So we took it. And there we go. Alright, so where is the next one? We're... what is our level right now? 11. We're not at 12 yet. So, what we're gonna do is look around for a side mission that is under 11. Okay, so that's a good one. That's a good one. That's an even better one. Yeah, those are too high. Alright, so I think we're good. We've got a, a, a level 10 mission set up. And one of my favorite things to do is this right here. Watch this. So even though he'll take the long way around or whatever, we can fly a sinew and just enjoy the scenery. Yeah, so it looks like that's how you start getting hunted by those guys. Uh, we're going to not do the main mission just yet because uh, we, I only want to do the missions when I am at that specific level to make stealth a little easier. The only way I'm going to be able to learn this is because you can't redo missions. And I want to make sure that the walkthrough goes smoothly. And the best way to make sure the walkthrough goes smoothly is if I mimic the situations that I encounter for the Let's Play into the walkthrough. So I want to make sure that I'm at the correct level so we can stealth all of the enemies. So once we get to that specific level, which we should just have to do this one mission and we'll be able to get there. Yeah, I know. Bayek touched him with the feather and he died. So, I mean, that's that's some amazing ability and power. Look where our goal is. And he's going all the way around. That's great. He's got to follow the road. Alright, looks like this is the end of the line. So, look at all the, the poverty, though, right here. You can totally see. Yes, the crafting stuff does. And then once I get done with these first two initial uh, killings, then we're going to upgrade a lot of the crafting and get the hidden blade up and all that. But let's take a look at it now and let's see. Because it tells you exactly what you need to do. Um, we can actually go ahead and craft our bracer. And we can go ahead and... Well, not yet. We need uh, a specific type of material wood to get the quiver so we have the more uh, capacity. And for this one, you can see that specific. I can't tell what it is. But that does hidden blade damage. And we already have it at 12. So we're almost already there for that. Uh, we just did the bracer. We're already, all we need is, again, more wood is the biggest thing. Uh, to get a better breastplate, uh, we need four more of that type, specific type of hide. And the, the better tool, pouch, uh, tiger? or lot? No, it looks like tiger, right? And that's how you can figure that stuff out. Do we pick up a better weapon yet? Uh, bone cracker <laughs> but it's locked to us because it requires a level 12 uh, as far as abilities go we only have one ability point so we're saving up we don't need anything just yet 
can actually go ahead and locate... We've been here already because you see this is where we got our thing. Oh, I think I just saw it. Is that it right there? Yep. These are the papayas, and I know green team loves me, loves me saying that. Puzzles. So, if you look at these, they all have like, these are like legendary equipment and items in the south section of Merotis Lake. There is an island full of ruins. A man stares at me all day. It's quite a bother, so I'm hiding behind a column that blocks his sight. Uh, in the south section of Mariotois Lake. Let's just f do a shits and giggle here. Where does it actually say specifically what lake we're looking at? Okay, right there. So that's Lake Meritois. And it says it's at the south section. There is some ruins. And I'm guessing that this would be the ruins. And there's supposed to be an area that is located around here. It looks like someone took a picture here. It's Cleveland! <laughs> uh, there's also a mission here, too. Um, which is a mission that we don't have the ability to uh, to do yet. Well, we can, but we don't have... Uh, it's that one right there, Taste of Her Sting. So once we're up to that level and we go to that mission, then we can fulfill that... For now, let's keep on with this little side mission here. Great Serapis. Are you as merciful as Amun? Welcome, brother. Thank you, priest. It is good to see Egyptians come back. Since my drummer was jailed, it has been quiet. The silence is striking. A tanner jailed my drummer, accused him of stealing a precious Nubian lion skin from the Daivats. Poor soul even worked for him. Tragic. He is an honest man. Leave this in my hands, priest. Medjai, my drummer is in the Kibodos arsenal nearest the library. Serapis, walk with you. And you, priest. Alright, so we're heading back to the library. <clears throat> and again, once we do this mission, we'll go and continue on with the main story. Oh, it's just so beautiful, man. I, I can't get over it. I really, really can't. It's... It's so good. The scale... I love the story so far, and I don't get why some people are saying that the story isn't good. I really feel for these characters already. I mean, yes, I know. There's not so much you can do with a story that's going to make people go, oh, or make people, like, think differently. You know, it's all been done before. That's the, the thing that sucks about games. Is there's not, I mean, not really much you can do after so many years of seeing everything. But I, I feel something for this character. I feel... You know, like a, a sense of wanting to finish a story, wanting his his uh, wanting his son, you know, to be avenged and all that stuff. And there's something there. Okay. The drummer. Let's see. He's right there. There's a lot of people in this little itty bitty fort. This is the fort that we died at earlier, I think. So there's always, like, unique ways in, maybe? There could be something underneath. So I'll look on the outskirts here and see if there's, like, any...
So we could get up here, we could climb down from that point right there. Get right where we need to go, maybe climb in there. Now, I would love to be able to try to do this without anyone seeing me. Like, maybe even without messing with anyone. I think that's always a goal that I, lo I love to have. Alright, so let's... We are going to take this guy out, though, because he's right here, and it's it's just too fun not to. This area is off limits. Our first assassination with the hidden blade, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a fort, so there's all kinds of things to do in here. You have a bunch of captains to kill, but we're going to stick with the main mission right now. You look how they're all sitting, not really out in the open right now. It could be setting up, preparing for an ambush. man who can have things, uh, namely me and my injured foot. I come on the priest's request, drummer. Then get me out of here, Magi. Something seems like it's just too easy. I cannot help but think. You seem cheerful for a man unable to walk. You jest, Charlie. This is the best day of my life. My foot will cost that Tana. Surely your health is worth more than that. If I can prove nothing, you would be correct. That is where you come in, friend. I mean, that's a necessity. It's a must. I thought they were blocking. Like, uh, they were just looking right into where he is, but they're actually not. Wow, so it was that easy, huh? Hey, oh, shit! Look at that! They still saw me. Oh! Hit me right in the back. There we go. Come on. Oh! You gotta be perfect. That's what sucks. Oh, it won't let me pick it up! Oh, you're kidding me. Find the fools who stole it, of course. Return that skin and clear my name. Who stole the lion skin? I turned away from the lion skin for a moment, and a bandit nabbed it and ran away. I lost him in the crowd. It happened in the Egyptian district. The guards, of course, blame me. Tough life being an Egyptian in Alexandria. I will find them then. Uh, the reason I stopped is because I didn't know Get if you could skin. climb. Just over uh, obstacles with a then body in your hand, in your... You clear so, my name. once I found out that you could, that's when I was like, oh shit, okay, keep going. But that was actually go not there. too bad. You can do that pretty Stop. much completely stealthy, so... Legs 
But now I know that you can't. You, I don't think you can climb things, but I think that you can like halt over or vault over specific things. Oh, get out of my way! What's wrong with you? Oh, come on, I'm not even... What? The hell happened here? I'm just randomly... Come on! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Walk right into the fire there. Give up! This did not go the way I would have wanted it to. This one has a Medjai badge. A dead breed should stay dead. You think you're tough? I'll show you tough. Look at that sword. I'll take that from you, big man. Wouldn't want you to get her slaying with it. Take him out. <laughs> we are not doing anything wrong, Medjai. I There's swear just on too many enemies right now for me to be able to do Boy, this. Attack us. We've I'm done trying to gain wrong. some more health back. Well. Mostly nothing wrong. Let's see if we can get our health back a little bit. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> He's stuck. Where do you think you're clambering off to? Aw. Almost got our bat. So once one of them gets up here, we can use this ability. Come on, I'm stuck. I didn't want to use it on this guy. I'm still such a noob at the combat, and it's so so fun, but it's so intimidating to get into. Because I'm not really that good at it. Alright. Oh, I see you gotta get out of that. Oh. See, you, you can't... Alright, break, break it, break it, break it. There you go. When you see that little emblem, you can't, like, dodge that move. You have to literally get out of, like, run out of the way, because it's an unbeatable move. Oh, look, I can't even get... Oh, no! No! Get out of there! Yeah! The combat is going to just... Oh, man, it's... Not easy to pull off. For some people, I guess, that are used to Dark Souls, maybe. I'm still waiting to get more health. You are out of options. Ha! It doesn't seem like I'm I'm I don't have the charged move. That's one of the reasons why. Alright, what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I can't I can't gain any any uh any health. No. Okay, we almost got him. So as soon as he climbs up here, we should be able to get him. Got him. Just in time. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay.
So the thing, let me tell you something about the combat. I like the combat, but you really, really got to focus and practice on it, or you're not going to be very good. The enemies can hit you at all sides, right? But the targeting system is not very good at all, and I think a lot of people have said that already. And what I mean by that is the targeting system when you when you lock onto someone, it's not intuitive when you're trying to switch to other people that are constantly attacking you, which can really, really uh, kind of mess things up. I know I got a shield or whatever, but I prefer the stealth. I'm not really a combat guy. <laughs> I like to stay in my element. There's plenty of guys out there that will probably show you an amazing combat, but they will suck at stealth. <laughs> you gotta know your strengths. Oh, this poor beast. Blue is no color for a lion. Hey, we survived and we didn't die. That's the important thing. This man is a thief! Peace, Theon. He claims to not have stolen a thing. Do you wish Seraph is displeased with you? <laughs> that guard is still no. there, yeah. I am going to sue you for my broken leg, you naked idiot! I am the wronged party here. My skin was stolen. And if you want it back, you will pay him for his suffering. And make amends by kneeling to Serapis. This is your answer, priest? Extortion? Fine. I feel Serapis and I have a long road ahead of us. Blessings on your journey, brother. Oh, we did it. Alright, I'm going to get into a little bit of combat here so I can actually get a little bit better at it. I think... I think I clearly need to get into a little bit of combat to... Uh, I think it's more of a, I'm, I'm just intimidated by it, like, um, I know how easily you can die, and that scares me for every single little encounter. But it doesn't necessarily need to be that way. See, I'm a master at this type of combat. You'll never see me coming. I almost got you. I almost got you. You're almost mine. <laughs> see? Look at that. Huh? I'm the master at that type of combat. Alright. End of the line for the snake. Unfortunately, from what I've seen, the shield helps you out a little bit, but not a lot. Like, it still does not help you at all for those unblockable attacks. And the dodge system is uh, kind of delayed a little bit, so when you're dodging, you have to, like, really anticipate what type of attack is, is coming first. I love how you just automatically unlock things when you're just... But I think oh. I'm <laughs> at a dead end here. I will be streaming Assassin's Creed every single day. From now on, this Let's Play will be streamed every day. Oh shit, I'm at the... Oh crap. Wait a second. I didn't realize where I was. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, we're at the Tomb of Alexander the Great! How awesome is that? Make sure he doesn't come up. Actually, let's go ahead and take him out. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Wow, this place is massive. Look at this is the world. This is a huge fort. Can I get a time check? Someone tell me what time it is. I don't have a clock on me right now. And we got a long trek. So all the enemies scale to you, so they'll always be somewhere around, when it's a main mission, they'll always be around the level that you're at. <clears throat> okay. Thank you guys. So we're heading inside here, this is where we need to go. We've got guards defending the walls, perimeters. There's just a lot of enemies, man. This is going to be quite a challenge, especially since we're tackling this from all the way over here. Yeah, I meant Eastern time, sorry. Eastern American time. I don't want to leave a body just out in the open. All right, so what we're going to do is is climb if we can here and start our trek from the outside over. See, this right here feels like Assassin's Creed. See, we can't really stay across the, the rooftops there because they end. Yes, you can put the beard and hair back on. Yep. That's why I got just the beard on. This is the most Assassin's Creed that I felt right here. Because look at look at what I'm doing. I'm slowly making my way towards this objective, and I feel like I'm stealthing it in all the most the greatest ways. Until I mess up. Notice how uh, he doesn't hear the whistles anymore? Until he stops. You can't whistle him in the middle of a whistle. Let that be a... And if you hold the button... Nope. Okay, so I was going to see if you can actually continually hold the the assassination button and be able to pick him up, but you can't pick him up like that. Unfortunately. 
I don't know, that's too much of a... Hurry, 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 hurry. All right, good. My finger's not gone yet, so we're going to experience that I, I, at some point. Maybe when we get... Maybe with Cleopatra. Maybe when we finally meet up with her. Important. Lock. Looks important. Locked. These are the rooms of the royal scribe. The ladder. Hmm. Okay, so the investigation area is only here. We need a key. Looks important. Locked. The ladder looks like it was against this wall here. Aha! Ah, a key. This feels like Assassin's Creed for sure. Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. Huh? False bottom. Letter. Esteemed Ibis, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Gennadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamped to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus, the royal scribe. There we go. I have said that the royal scribe is often at the bathhouse. I will kill that naked ear that Eudorus there. Alright, so we're going uh, literally back to the same <laughs> same place we were when we started this. <clears throat> Guys, don't forget to, if you like what you see and you want to see more live streams, make sure you become a sponsor. And of course, thanks to Green Team Captain for being a sponsor on YouTube. Is I want to get into live streaming a lot more as uh, 
I think live stream is going to be very, very important to make sure I can keep this going full time. So uh, if you, you know, want to help out, make sure you uh, sponsor me uh. or become a sponsor. I don't, I don't know what the wording they're saying is there. <laughs> We'll take a different route this time just to mix it up. Wow, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful, guys? I mean, just take a look. Hold on, let's, um... Unfortunately, you can't go too far away from your character. I wanted to get a backdrop of him like he's blending in with those statues. Something like that looks pretty good. Hey, hey, we got a new sponsor. Matthias, thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it, brother. And again, if any of you guys are new to my channel, which I'm sure most of you are probably not, um, lots of walkthroughs out there. That's a beautiful picture right there. You can see that the frame dips a lot right here. Like I can feel that the frame is very, very low, like maybe 20 right now. But on the PC version, man, when I, I get like around 80, 80 to 90 frames a second the whole time and it's truly breathtaking. Oh yeah, man, the frame is dipping really bad right here. Let's see if that's not just I like how it shows whatever animation he's doing right now. Like, look at his feet. Do you see he's, like, climbing right now? So, if we're standing, he's exactly in the same position. Like, right there. Let's see what he's... Yep. It's, it's like an exact... It's like they're photoshopping and, and uh, chroma keying out him, which is actually pretty cool. Alright, we're slowly getting there. We decided to take the long way around. Yes, they had selfies in ancient Egypt. You didn't know that, Matthews? Come on. Uh... Alright, so from the look out of it, we're outside now. Yes, we're no longer in... We're gonna take some damage there. I love that. If you take a lot of... Look at him limping! Look at... I know, it's just the small things in life that just... Really set this game. It's a pretty sweet mission here. Well, as far as my PC specs goes, I've got a Gen TGX 1080 Ti, an Asus Gaming 7 motherboard, um, or excuse me, MSI. Oh, here we go. Uh, 5930 processor. So it's time for me to upgrade my processor because that one's about four years old now. And I feel it when I live stream. I feel like the slowdown and things like that because of it. So I really do need to, to start upgrading some stuff. It's just money's been pretty tight lately. YouTube has not been very kind. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, this is like a classic. Oh, this is freaking classic. 
Aristo is taking Eudorus to court for plagiarism. No. I was visiting the docks and heard it from Aristo's wife herself. His wife? She works herself into histrionics over nothing. Eudorus stole whole paragraphs from Aristo's book about the Nile. I love coming here. The building alone chooses his horses, his horses badly. Look up at that expansive Have you seen his wife? Simply divine. All right, so... Is everything to your liking, my lord? You there! Stop! Notice how we still have our hidden blade on. My guess is we're going to be able to climb up here. My lord, are you properly set? Make sure no one else Simonides, is looking. you have consumed too much wine. I have, and I will again. But had I not, would our pharaoh be any less a goose? Stop annoying me, if you please. Idiot. Here we go. You can't confirm any more of that kind of kill. And he still decides to, to do that after he jumps on top of him and assassinate. Oh, he's still alive! He's gonna lose his finger. Oh! Yep, that's where he loses his finger. Yep. <laughs> that is great! They did it! They went and did it! That was awesome! <laughs> oh man! That was great! Die and be done with it! May the gods curse you. What cause of you to kill me? It was you who murdered my son before my eyes. You are a fool. At the temple, in Siwa! That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It is too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. It is worth the loss to slay the snake at last. Snake. The snake will never die. Son of Apep, the Lord of the Duat awaits. I mean, that was just amazing. Oh, oh, that was awesome. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, come on. No one was there. <laughs> like I said, nine fingers. What the hell? Oh, I'm losing health. Look at me. Wow, there's like a whole thing up here. Eudorus has been king! I wish there was more you could do in this bath. Hopefully there's like another mission in this bathhouse because this seemed really cool. Oh, it was so fun. I did not know that they were going to do that. Like, I had no idea. I knew he was going to lose his finger, but I was kind of hoping they would do it in that kind of way. See, these are people that care about the Assassin's Creed franchise. This is creators of Black Flag. They care about what they're doing. They know this series, and they truly, truly made it perfect for what just happened right there. Um, but we did get a new outfit, so let's take a look at it. The bathhouse towel. And you can toggle the hood on, so let's... <laughs> I am Bayek. I am a Magi. 
I will form the Assassin's Brotherhood in only a towel. Watch me. Watch me be sexy and dangerous. I am very dangerous. I am Bayek. These are my recreation clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having too fun. Too much fun here, guys. Come on. All right, so we're going back, which isn't actually too far from here. And he's got no shoes on, so this is going to hurt more than normal. At least in his other outfits, he has sandals on, but no, not this time. Hopefully no one is below me when I'm climbing this. They might see up my skirt. Oh, we're going to see a cutscene in a towel. <laughs> I've made it to you, my love. I just got out of the bath. My dearest. The snake. Gennady I'm Batman. There you go. <laughs> it was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. My wife. My wife. He's my wife. <laughs> oh, here we go. Looks like we're heading back into a modern day, maybe. Exactly. Towel saves more time, you know? Just get right down to business. Don't have to go through all that brass tacks. D. Hey, I was wondering if I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? Bayek's wife. I could feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're, you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do it there, well, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. There. What is it? The bleeding effect is leading me to Aya. Oh, great. More fuel for your superhero complex. Come forth by day. She's down there. My turn for a leap of faith. S leap of go. what? You're in no condition to do any leaping? Well, that was actually almost a very, very bad leap because she was at the edge and could have easily just killed herself right there. <gasps> oh, that sucks that eyes down here. Damn, that's cold. I was right, she's here. Oh, there you are, thank God. I can almost taste the blood. Oh, oh, OK, 
Okay, you're making less and less sense, Leela. We need to report. Not yet. Not yet? So when? <sighs> Well, I can't chew my way out of here. That kind of does suck that she got something happened here. Your story will be told. What are you doing now? Climbing. <clears throat> and it's hard, so uskuti, will you? Fine. Let me know when you get to the top. <clears throat> At least, let's be honest, at least they're going for this whole modern day thing now. Thank God. Because before, it was just getting to the point where it was just like, oh, let's just do a cutscene, you know? Nothing that felt good, in my opinion. But it's weird that we're actually taking control of a Templar. So. I'm going back in. Why? I took a DNA sample from Aya. I want to see your memories. Oh, we're going to be these I get that you're excited, but oh, yeah. the more risks we take, the worse things could go for us. It's my dream on the line here. Let me do this my way. I mean, well, that could have... That could have been a little bit better instead of walking through it and then it happening. So it looks like now we have the ability to jump where before, well, we can't really jump, but we can climb now, whereas we couldn't do any of that before. Adding Aya's DNA to the chamber. It'll take time to sequence. You won't be able to sync with her memories right away. Layla, something else you should know. You got me Since on you're mixing my gene sequences Layla. in an uncontrolled manner, the transition between memories will likely be unpredictable. I'm comfortable with unpredictability. Yeah? Well, I'm worried. You always are. That's true, Mike. She might not know that they are Templars. But I guess we're going to find out. All right, so this, uh, for those of you who don't know, is kind of like our database. So in the actual Animus itself, they took out the ability to be able to see all of the landmarks and get information on that and all of that stuff because they're putting in the whole like uh, discovery tour this is coming at uh, beginning of next year so all the information and stuff that you get is going to be here uh, in the modern world and you've got things like uh, audio diaries that you can listen to um, which give you backstory on her on Layla Uh, mail that you can read so you can get, as you can see, a lot of backstory. And we are in from what it looks like. See, for some reason I thought because I saw the first top in 2014, I was like, oh, we're in 2014. But no, we're actually in, um, as you can see right here, we're in the same exact time period that it is right now. So as the last email that we got here was from October 21st, 2017. And as you can see, there's some files on Desmond Miles here that you can read. I just, I hope they find a way to burn. I, it's so sad because Desmond Miles to me goes with this game or goes with this series as much as, as much as Ezio and, and all that. Desmond Miles to me, I felt like the, what they did with this character just was stupid and dumb. Um, I don't know how they're ever going to be able to fix that or if they're ever going to fix that, but, you know, I still have the hopes that uh, somehow Desmond uh, or his son or something like that can come back and, uh, you know, make us feel for the modern day again like we used to, you know? I just felt they didn't really do enough with his character. Looks like Bike has notes. So 
So again, this is like, you know, getting into the history of what's going on right now and all that stuff. All right, but for now, we're going to go ahead and move on. It looks like we might be taking over some memories as as Aya, so keep me updated on the time, Eastern time, every now and then, because we got to get ready for another stream. But again, I will be streaming more of this every single day uh, until we finish the game for the Let's Play, and then the walkthrough videos will be coming out as normal. Thank you, Green. Thank you, thank you. But, uh, so what do you guys think of it so far? Are you enjoying it? Uh, do you think that this is one of the best Assassin's Creed games out there? Um, where do you rank it among your favorites? I, I really want to know. And again, thank you for the uh, the extra um, sponsor. I really appreciate that, Matthias. I told you, the Animus hasn't finished interpreting IS DNA yet. All right, so it looks like Fine. maybe we're not playing with her Fine. yet. Back to Tao Man, also known as Bathman. <laughs> Oh, you're on sick leave. I well, hope you feel hope you feel better, buddy. I honestly haven't felt this way about a character since Ezio, and I really well. I mean, what is it? Between number four too. The snake. What if he was not the last? Of course, he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. I love how realistically the hood moves. Look at it. If there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later. Yes, I will be doing the giveaway, and I'll just give it a few more days, and then we will uh, give a copy of this game away. Enjoy the Hippodrome. Don't lose all your money at the races. Ooh, so the Hippodrome, I guess, is the, the, the races, the carts. So I'm going to let you guys decide. Either we can continue on with like a side mission of some sorts. I'm going to take off this ridiculous <laughs> bath towel. Um, although it is pretty cool. Actually, we'll go with this one. Now I did notice his beard is gone again. I don't and that must have been automatic. What? Boom. Instant beard. All right, let's see if we got a bigger better sword. Now, here's the cool thing about this is you can constantly keep upgrading this specific sword, a moon's blade, if you wanted to. Um that way, if you like specifically like a specific sword, you can keep going, and that's kind of cool. We are actually going to go ahead and do this one, because I do want to see the races. Um, and let's see if we have a... We do not, because we haven't been over in that part of Alexandria yet. So we got a little bit of a long trek. <coughs> uh, uh, <coughs> 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 
need. And you can see in this outfit, he actually doesn't have any shoes on as well. Some some outfits, I guess, have shoes and some don't. That's got to be hard on them, man. Look <laughs> at I love it when he limps, though. Hey, I'd be limping too if I didn't have any dang shoes, man. Whoa. Yeah. All right, let's make our way down. So in the next live stream, I think what I'll do is uh, tomorrow's live stream is we'll continue to upgrade Bayek and uh, do a lot of crafting, uh, get better with the hidden blade, do a lot of side missions and stuff like that to upgrade the character so as that we can have a really, really fearsome maxed out Bayek um, when we do some of these missions. And tomorrow's stream will probably be a lot longer than today's just because... I've got something else going on that I have to stream right after this, so if it wasn't for that, then I would be streaming like probably four or five hours. So expect very, very long streams on these, um, but it's just an opportunity for me to live stream, talk with you guys while we're playing it, uh, going through it for the first time. Then I can go and make the videos, the walkthroughs, um, and stuff like that. And again, for the new schedule, this will be uploaded every single day. Um, things like Shadow of War, Evil Within 2 will be like uh, a specific set schedule um, just because I want to make sure to give you guys as much as possible and to be able to, to have everyone have their games to be played. Whoa. I am Bayek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you'll be found near the lighthouse then. Yes, all, then, all these Zazas Creed streams will be on YouTube. One of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities. Along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. His name was Icarus, the glory of the Rokas Hippodrome. So as you can see, we got a side mission there. Jealous fate, numbering his victories instead of his years, got him old and stupid. What is this mission that's right next to us? Let's take a look. So, my question is, how do I get inside and do that? Icarus, a champion from 13 when he won his Aha, prize. here we go. Just walk up to the door, Strain. Come on, are you that dumb? <laughs> yes, I have a specific uh, horse that, I, that you get with the gold edition. Alright, so this is the Hippodrome. We've got friend challenges. Nice. There are no friend challenges available at the moment, so many friends have been your best score. This is really cool. So, some of you guys that have me on PS4, uh, we might be able to have challenges against each other. We've got time trials and tournaments. Let's, let's try the tutorial race and let's see how it goes. Let's be honest. This is so cool. And we still have the gladiatorial arena part that we haven't really gotten into yet. We've only done one fight club so far. Yeah! Alright, hold R2 to go. Controls with the left thumb stick. Move the camera around so you get some really cool angles. Unfortunately, you can't do photo mode while you're in here. Yeah! Oh, he can drift! <laughs> Drifting back in 49 BCE. Watch this. 
Stay in the dark path to gain stamina more quickly. Doesn't seem like we're gaining on him at all. Oh, that is hilarious. Yeah. That is hilarious. Oh, God, that is so cool. Yeah. 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 really can't catch up to him. Sometimes it's like I look at him, he just keeps getting further and further away. I think I'm drifting pretty good. Alright, so we're going to try one and see how it goes. I'm riding dirty. Yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get better at the combat via the arena. Let's say Nike's winged victory. <laughs> they got promotion sponsors in, in ancient Egypt. Nike! Try to get a commanding lead to start out with. Come on. Oh, he got it! Photo finish! Wow. 
Ow! Photo finish! Oh my god, that was so cool. Did you see that? That was a photo freaking finish right there. Becomes, do you worry about knocking people off or do you worry about trying to fin trying to be first? You really got to get around that corner fast. See, that's where you that's where I screwed up. Yeah, yeah. Jeesh. Oh, I'm screwed. Yeah. Like a last place yeah. now. Yeah. 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 See, it comes to the point where you gotta focus just no, on on uh, on racing and not on ramming. Because if you're just ramming everybody, then you're losing you're losing like everything. So I'm not even going to focus on ramming, ramming anymore. I'm just going to race. Look, even me sprinting did not even get me up to these guys. I don't think the game allows you to get a commanding lead. I think. That's another lap completed. Save up your strength and your stamina. See how that guy's just. See, like, no matter what you do, you won't be able to get a commanding lead, see? It's the final lap in this history-making contest! Here they come! Oh, come on. You have got to be kidding me. How How is that even possible? That he was able to get in on the inside of that, man. That is crazy. I clearly didn't win that, but... We did finish the events. <laughs> and it looks like... 
You can do them over again. Nice. And you get some coin. We made 100 coins, so... Exactly, you should focus more on racing than on trying to ram people. But it always seems like no matter what you're doing, you can't get a, a commanding, commanding lead. Like, they'll always be able to stay either right where you are, you can't... It's not like an actual race where you can be, like, really, really out in front. Uh, I do know that, yes, you can ride um, elephants in the game. Time check. His name was Icarus, the glory of the Rocas Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus. Jealous fate. What is this mission's level? Oh, we're too, we're too close to it to be able to... A champion from 30... There you go. When he won his fast... Oh. His horses, as blessed by the gods as he, Abraxas and Santana, whom he rode to victory in all the five... We'll go ahead and continue on with the main one. Oh yeah, once I spend some more time with it, I'm sure I'll be, I'll get back into it and we'll do a whole series on that uh, on those races. Yeah, so it looks like this will be the last mission that we undertake because I got to get ready for another stream. But then we'll be back tomorrow with plenty more and tackling a bunch of side quests, getting our crafting up so that way our hidden blade is better and all of our weapons are better and everything is significantly better. So, new location, Canapos. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like we need to go... Oh, crap! I'm in a, uh... Didn't even realize it. <laughs> you there! Stop! Hey, now! Your time has come! I'm not sure I really need to do that. I can just get Stop! Don't swim away, you bastard! Bye, guys! What stopped me? What? Okay. What stopped me? I literally can't move. There we go. Something stopped me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this viewpoint too since we're here. Apollodoros. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll, what of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? 
What man, happened to my man, beard again? It came off. Yet to it's like the gay wants me to have my beard man off. To man. I need an answer. Well, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. <laughs> we noticed that around the same time there, Mike. Where is this Damastis? You gotta be in your gear to do it. There you go. He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. A lot of enemies, but since we're tackling from this side, we should be able to get in there pretty easily. Mm, the gods here are vigilant. Diramon, save me! Not too vigilant. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what I want to do. I like the bodies right there. Hey! That guy saw me from there, even in the nighttime. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to tackle this, not from the boat. Oh no, that's like a, a thing that you can carry to destroy, okay. <laughs> nope, stop, get down. Hey now! Sheesh. Too many, uh, wouldn't let me get down. You can't go down here. There's, it's not low enough to go down. You can't stealth it. Death for you. Over here, Adelphe. All right, let's get back out. So even when you're in shallow water, you can't dive. Now we can dive. And I literally can't climb up here. My own filth in here. Thank you. It was very unpleasant. 
Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. Come back. Alarm! Trouble here! Are you kidding me? He won't come with me. Wow, they really made this one tough. Oh, I can't even stealth these guys. Wow, look at that move. Wow. Come on. Oh, and I just went right into it. Lost you. Want to live? Idiot. Alarm. This hey, way. I've got a problem here. Well, when do we get into the combat? There you go. If only he would have just followed me, we would have made it out. But he gets into a fight out here. Makes sense. Alarm to battles! All right, so I don't know where he wants to go, but... I guess we're supposed to follow him. I was him. going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his own. <laughs> Alright, well, we made it. <laughs> Polodora sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship.
Jeez, that takes a while. That precious scroll. Neck. Fighting is really good. It's just I've got to practice a lot more. Get comfortable with everything. You know. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general, Pompey, in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria, Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Philakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek. Time check. Before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. Here we go. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hold the crowd. Bees! Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. <laughs> I love that right there. Look at him. He's so such a 
<laughs> he can be very playful uh, characters. Pasharemta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the order of ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the order of ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. You coming to the right guy? We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow. That's so good. And you guys have seen this here and where we are. This is exactly where we were uh, in my previous gameplay about a month ago. Told her to hurry back. And let's take a look at the targets menu here. Which we can actually show now. We have a bunch. But as you can see... Those are the ones that I uh, killed as well as I did. So there are still, right now, the lizard, the crocodile, the hyena, and the scarab. As far as all this goes, you know exactly where we are now. We're just uh, southeast of Alexandria, and you've seen how many missions that are available to us in Alexandria. So many side quests, and you know that there's a lot of side quests in this area as well. So that's going to be it for today's stream. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. 
probably around the same time, 12 Eastern Standard Time. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. And in the next stream on this Let's Play, we're going to be really diving into upgrading Bayek as much as we can. Getting his blade better, getting his uh, crafting better, all of his health, and uh, really dive into the combat a little bit. Uh, getting a lot of viewpoints, doing a lot of side missions, also main missions as well. It's going to be a long stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I got another stream coming up for Star Citizen, and uh, which will be here in just about 30 minutes or so. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. All those stuff that you've seen, I'm going to be making the walkthrough uh, as well. So those videos are going to be coming out throughout the day. And uh, I can't wait to start uh, showing you guys more. Love you all. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out.